Ooh, what's up guys and welcome to our video from me discovering and today we're gonna talk about actually something that has been uh, well kind of new i guess because i actually didn't know about this but tarantrum is actually getting suspect banned for uh, for are you now I will just say before going in here, I don't think it's very likely it's gonna get banned because it's not overly broken by any means. Uh, it's very, very threatening overall. It's probably the scariest scarfer in RU, but I think that's probably where it all ends. Um, um, Tyranitar got really scary once um, uh, Cresselia left it here for some reason. I guess Cresselia was to some extent being able to hold that thing off, but. Tarantrum, from time to time, is unrivaled when it comes to its sheer amount of power. Like I said, it's, as a Scarfer, it's super, super dangerous. As a setup mode Pokemon, it's pretty darn dangerous, and I actually use it a lot myself. So I can safely say that a Dragon Dance behind this guy is probably all you need to actually sweep a team uh, in RU, of course. So I can see where the people are coming from. It's generally dangerous, and... Uh, but well, it's very hard to stop once it gets going. Now, it has issues. Its typing is definitely not the best. It's not really helping it a whole lot. It's, it's typing, actually, it's holding us back. But and also, since Abomasnow actually got back here, it can actually fend this guy off fairly well. Obviously, uh, trying to win it one-on-one. -on -one, but uh, Abomasnow can definitely hurt it. So it goes for a lot of Pokemon in the tier. So it's not overly broken. It's heartless. Um, and yeah, I mean... That's really all I can say. The setup about it is very, very dangerous, and um, head charge uh, together with Rockhead makes this thing generally dangerous, and crunch together with Strong Jaw keeps uh, the likes of, of course, uh, um, jealous and far away. So that's also a thing. And um, I guess one Pokemon that's kind of holding it off right now is actually Almamola. But even so, Alamola cannot take an outrage from a one plus Dragon Dance, and even a head charge. We can't take it, we can't take the retaliation off it. And that's probably the reason that uh, Gramble got so commonly used, actually, in RU, was because of the likes of these Pokemon, both Flygon, Tarantrum, of course, and Dragon being quite prominent in the tier. So, um, if you look what the people are using most, like I told you guys here, the Choice Scarf set, very, very common. And due to its pretty pretty good speed here, it's definitely doing well. Since it actually takes out Scarfed uh, and Boar, which is also a Pokemon I prefer using for um for a Scarf of anything. Um go down we've got rock polish set. Wouldn't necessarily recommend that. And uh, Dragon is definitely a better choice band set. Wouldn't probably recommend that either. Um oh yeah, that that's just about it. Let's see. Um, checks and counters, seal types in general, special attackers, um, like Delphox, Rotom C, Jolt Young, do heavy damage on physical defensive Pokemon, bulky war types, Omola, Quagsar, uh, Seismito to some extent, I guess that wouldn't really say that Seismito can pull this one off, because the one issue Seismito has is that after one Dragon Dance, not even a defensive Quagsar can actually live an outrage at Ferox, it's, it's not up there, it really isn't. Uh, revenge killers such as Durant, Hitmali, and Rotom, uh, if they're Scarf, will be able to take this guy out. So, alright, there are a few issues that should be noted. Like I said before, uh, due to his low speed, Magpons and Ice Shard is actually pretty darn common to actually taking this guy out. So, that's a thing. And I think it has enough checks and counters to actually keep it in the tier. Now, it would do fair in UU. I believe it actually will do just fine in UU. But it's definitely not at at that kind of league, but it definitely is one of the strongest, if not the strongest, uh, Pokemon in RU. And um, it's a very, very dangerous mon. So I'm looking forward to see what uh, the smaller console is um, saying about this one. I'm definitely going for a vote on this this time around. I'll just have to get my points up to pull that off. But I'm definitely not voting this guy to go away. Because I feel like Oreo is just a perfect home for it after some thought, honestly. I was thinking from the get go that it should go because it was so common. But um, being common is not the same thing as being broken. It's a very flexible poke and um, it's it's a reason people are using it a lot. But that, like I said, is not making the Pokemon broken at all. So, anyway, I just want to see what you think. And of course, leave your own thoughts down below and I'll read them. So, thank you everybody for watching and I'll see you next time. Until then, take care. Bye.